So you have just gotten yourself the DJI Mini 2 and you want to get the most out of your new toy. Well, look no further because in this video we shall go through all of the essentials so that you can start pushing the limits of this tiny yet powerful beast. First things first, let's switch to manual mode. In this mode you have more control over the image and when in manual mode you can avoid exposure changes that are present in the auto mode. Remember, exposure changes in the video will make the video look unprofessional. So to get the most out of your tiny beast, use the manual mode. To have the most cinematic and natural looking shots, you will need to get the ND filters. ND filters are like sunglasses to your drone. In very bright environments, it helps you to reduce the shutter speed to the optimal amount, which gives you that natural motion blur that we all love and want to see in our videos. But thankfully, the original Mavic Mini accessories work with the Mini 2. So the original Mini's Freewell ND filters will work great on the Mini 2. Now, let's go through all of the settings. First, we'll start with the safety. So you should set the auto return to home altitude to the altitude that is above all of the objects that are around you. So if you have a building that is around 60 meters high near you and you're flying somewhere around it or, or near it, you should put the auto return to home altitude to about 70 meters so that if, the, if you lose the connection and the drone is returning home, you will avoid a crash because this thing does not have the sensors. So if it's going to return to home in an unsafe altitude, it can crash into something. So always remember to set the altitude above all of the objects that are around you. Now the control. First, we will allow the upwards gimbal rotation. This will allow us to get those epic shots where the camera is looking upwards. And uh, well, usually with the drone, those shots look really cool. And uh, here are some examples. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. And then we will go to the advanced gimbal settings. Here we will change the pitch speed and smoothness of the gimbal. Um, the speed is 10 and the smoothness is 25. That is my preferred uh, setting for this thing and uh, well with these settings you can achieve smooth and cinematic gimbal moves and the yaw speed should be at uh, I think 40 and uh, yaw smoothness should be at around 20 that is those are my preferences smooth it out yaw helps you uh, with the rotation shots if you want to master the rotation shots perfectly without those jitters then uh, adjust the yaw settings for your needs and how you feel comfortable with the rotation stick. And the stick mode for me is mode 2, that is uh, I guess the most popular mode. It just feels good, the mode 2 feels good and that's what I'm using and um, well if you use mode 3 or mode 1 or mode 4, it's okay, use those modes. If, if, if a mode, if a different mode for your fingers feels better, use that mode. And now in the camera settings, we will turn on the overexposure warning so we can always see whenever something is overexposed. That is very useful. And in guidelines, we will check the grid and diagonals because grid and diagonals will help you a lot in um, composing your shots. So uh, if you want to compose your shots properly and beautifully, and precisely, then you should turn on the grid and diagonals, definitely. And white balance should always be on manual because if it's on auto, the white balance will change during the video and color changes in a video, just like exposure changes, will uh, make the video look unprofessional. And we don't want that. We want to push the limits of this tiny beast and we want to get the most out of it. And you can get professional looking shots with it, definitely. You just have to know how to, and here I am explaining it. So yeah, always use manual modes, manual exposure, manual white balance, manual everything. You will have the full control over the image. That is what professional video looks like. Now that all of the essential settings have been updated, now we can talk about the new features and how to use them. So first and probably the most exciting update for this drone is the OcuSync 2.0. Um, you don't have to learn how to use it. OcuSync 2.0 will just be there. It's just a better signal. So the original Mini in urban environments was usable only in some places, at least in Europe. Um, but this thing, this thing now can be flown anywhere 
you can fly it in urban environments and feel confident that the signal will be good and that you will be able to get the shots. This allows you to be more creative and more comfortable with it in air because if you're scared that you will lose the signal, you will probably lose the creativity and you will probably, uh, you will sacrifice the creativity uh, with the fear. So get rid of fear. So yeah, and OcuSync 2.0 allows us to get rid of fear of losing the signal. So that is very much appreciated. Thank you DJI for listening. That's, 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 that's wonderful. And the next massive update is the 4K camera. Here. That is amazing. It, the video looks crispy and uh, for this tiny beast, the 4K is really good. And just like the Mavic Air 2, the DJI Mini now supports the digital zoom feature, which is really cool. I do enjoy it a lot. It allows you to get more creative shots in air and you can even use the function button and the rolling gimbal rolling thingy to have a smooth zoom in so you can achieve all sorts of funky stuff like, for example, dolly zoom effect or, or stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. The only thing I think I would like to have is uh, another wheel on the controller so you can have a gimbal movement with the zoom so you can get more creative with your shots. But now if you're using the function button with the, gim with the zoom, you're not able to tilt the gimbal up or down. So DJI, please add another wheel, just like you added for the Mavic 2 zoom. It would be really cool to be able to tilt the gimbal, rotate in four dimensional moves, and also to zoom in with this tiny beast. So DJI, if you're listening, please take this in mind, it would be amazing. And then there's the raw photo feature that so many people were asking for and now it's here. It's, uh, it's present in the DJI Mini 2. And yeah, so now you can capture not only JPEGs, but also raw photos. And uh, what's so good about that? Well, uh, raw photos have more information in the image, so you can push the image more than you could push the JPEGs. So. Uh, you just get more pushable images. Now that you know all of the technical stuff about this drone, it's time to get the skills. And uh, to get the skills, well, I have created this playlist, uh, Cinematic Flight Tutorials. And in this playlist, you can see right here somewhere, uh, there are a lot of videos where I explain uh, in real time flights, what I am doing with the controls and how I achieve the moves I'm achieving while I'm achieving them. So <laughs> a lot of people have told me that these tutorials are extremely helpful and very useful. And uh, so yeah, if you want to learn the most epic moves you can achieve with the drone, go check out those tutorials and uh, hopefully you will be able to learn something new. Go check them out. And that is it for the essential settings and the new features for the Mavic Mini 2. Now, with all of this information, you can get the most out of your new and exciting toy. Go ahead and have epic and safe flights. And remember, put the fear behind. Fear will only let you down. If you lose the fear, you will be able to get more and more epic shots. Fear will only keep you away from the greatness. So hopefully you were able to enjoy this video. Hopefully you were able also to learn something new. And uh, if you did learn something new, then maybe sacrifice that like button. And uh, if you want to see more from me, more DJI Mini 2 content and more content about drones and filmmaking, then please subscribe and uh, click that bell thingy if you want to be notified whenever I upload the video. And I also have a, an Instagram account where I sometimes post some photos and videos there. So go follow my Instagram account if you have Instagram. And um, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.